Enemy Sprite Cakes. Fire Golem. Damn! Damn, bruv! It's really large, though. That's gonna be a boss, then. This will be a boss. Put it in right now. Okay, fine, wait. I need to align it properly. Yeah, let's try to align it. So, what we can do here is take that. <coughs> and like this. And maybe that. Okay. Oh, it goes all the way up here. Wow, that's a huge sprite. God. <laughs> okay. Check my last message. Amida agrees. I would also add glowing magma. <laughs> last mob to come out of volcano, yeah. We're number one stream in software and game dev, but then pirate software is gone. Because <laughs> pirate software is number one. Output file. Golem PNG. Let's put it on download first, yeah. File open recent. Let's open the Sprite Atlas. Actually, that's the wrong one. We need uh, that one. And then we need open recent. The fire Golem PNG. Wow, look at this. Oh my, that's a bit many. That's quite a few frames, bruv. Um, take a look at this. Uh, <laughs> where do I put this guy? Um, yeah, I guess I'll put him here. Um, okay. <laughs> look at this man. He's chunky. Yeah, guys, I don't know if we're able to add this guy in too much. Holy moly. Who made this? Uh, a hold on my groin made this. Hold on my groin. Only thing I might change is the arms. Smaller rocks not floating at the same position, but I'd rather have them float a bit more to get what I mean. Really good. Let's let's add it to the game. Holy shit. Goodness. Really good stuff, bro. All right. So let's see. Uh, zero and 2,400. Guys. For hold on my groin. Clap. Come on. Give him some claps, guys. Come on. There you go. Very good stuff, bro. Very, very cool stuff, bro. Thank you. What a cool enemy, man. Nice. He's one of a kind. Yeah, yeah. True, true, true. Claps. Scale is too big. Doesn't match the game. Yeah, just wait. Just wait, bro. It's all terms. It's all a... It is all based on perspective okay bro we can have big enemies in the game that's totally fine it's all part of level design and how i design the levels if i give him a giant road to walk on then he will fit into the game just wait oh, okay uh let's see mm, enemies enemies section there you go Sprite enemy, magma golem. Uh oh. Oh, this is not a cakes enemy. This is just an enemy. Not sure why I'd call it cakes enemy. <coughs> 
Magma Golem. Okay, so that was on 0 in 2014. Uh, 0. 2400. And wow, what was the size of this thing? Um, it is 112 by 192. And how many frames was that? 20. Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is it 21? Sprite enemy Ligma balls. And then we turn this into an enemy. Let's call it enemy. Oh yeah, we also need to... Uh, Generate that type. Oh, I hate that. We need to give it an enemy type. What's the difference between normal and enemy cakes? Nothing. Uh, it's just old sprite and it's an enemy magma golem. Nothing. It was just very old. I had enemy enemy cakes. They were enemy cakes. These were the round enemies. So essentially, these were the old ones. Uh, cakes, TD. And when it was still called Cakes at E, these round dudes were cakes enemies. Because they were the same round dudes, but corrupted. That was the original idea or lore. You know? So, enemy magma golem, but it changed now. Okay, uh, we did just give it all idle animations. There you go. And then, uh, oh, we need to give it a really big rectangular collider. How big should the rectangular collider for this guy be? Uh, whew. I mean, we could say about this much, huh? Maybe this? Something like this? So like 56 by 76, maybe? Fifty six by seventy six and then the offset here. Yikes, where's the middle point? I don't even know how big this was. So let's say Oof. Man, okay, let's see. So this has to be like the positional offset. I don't even know where the middle part is. Wait, so I need like a so this is wait. This is the middle part here. I need to go down by this much. It's like 86 pivot offset. This is like the anchor point that I'm talking about here. We have a dot pivot offset of 0 and then 86. How the fuck does that happen? Why do I keep muting myself? Hey! Minus 56. Let's try this. Aha. That's a strong enemy and a collider radius on the ground. I guess we'll do 24. Maybe longer? We'll see. And then this guy. Ooh, he has like a lot of health. Million health. And then, uh, obviously, instead of physical damage, he has fire damage. Of course. And he does a lot of fire damage, bruh. 500, bruh, 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 bruh. But we don't have abilities on this guy yet. So he has armor. 
he has all of the resistances, guys. So, what do we have here? We have armor. We have fire resist. Fire resistance, by the way, 100%. Immune to fire. Immune to fire. Immune to well, uh, high physical defense. A thousand armor ba base. I don't know if these values make sense. You know, a thousand armor, if I will ever have like 500 physical damage with armor, armor penetration. But for now, you know, huge. And then we have stat, uh, cold resist, cold resist, stat, uh, lightning resist, and stat, uh, poison resist. I think these are all the resistances. Uh, poison, uh, let's say 20%. Cold resist, basically minus 10. That means additional cold damage takes takes additional cold damage. I hope this works. I hope this works. Uh, maybe that doesn't work, but we'll have to see. I think I programmed it in a way where I'm clamping these values. But I wanted to be like a multiplier. Hello, Sully the Cat. Good morning. Hope you're doing good. Um, yeah, we'll see. What about explosive resistances? That could be a cool feature. Your towers could uh, throw some dynamites and stuff like that. Um, there, there will just be explosions. And then uh, lightning resist. It's a rock. Rocks. Don't take lightning damage. Right? Um, think about this. It's a rock. Grounded. I don't think they should take lightning damage, but we'll have to see. Coin reward. Oh, this guy gives like a 2,000 coins. Huge. And then XP reward. Oh, this guy gives... Actually, there's no XP reward. This is not XP reward, but um, actually it's called XP reward. <laughs> but this doesn't exist anymore. I don't use this. Anyways, spear toss, ability, meteor. This guy can use the ability meteor. All right, let's see. We have a new enemy in the game, guys. Uh, but since we added a new game into the uh, enemy to the game, I think we have to restart the game really quickly. Huh? What the fuck? Huh? Where the fuck was it just now? What? What is this? What happened here? What the fuck? Spray it with water first and freeze it so the water expands and the golem goes boom. Fuck the finals, I'm learning UML and this is so, such a bullshit. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 me too. I had to do that for university. Ah, uh, that's, that's, bro, you'll get through it, okay? You'll get through it. Sturdy pose. All right, guys, you ready? Round zero. Huh? Huh? Round one. Guys, we are spawning one. Wait. Actually, I'm going to add a debug round here. Mark my golem. Argument. My man. Thank you for ten dollars. Holy Good shit. Luck. My man. Argument. Thank you so much. Why did it not play the 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 thing? Thank you so much for the big support, bro. You know that you can write a TTS message as well, right, Argument? My man, thank you. Why to do? Isn't it done? This is just a to do debug thing that I will essentially just do this with. Toggle on and off when I need it. I hate to do this. Yeah, I mean, 
yeah, I could see why, but it's it's a good thing. Read the message, brother. I can't wait to watch your GDC talk on Yoink Driven Development, Mr. Cakes. Read the message, brother. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Just wait, you know? Also, it's called a remix. You dumbo. No hit sounds defined for enemy type 18. Oh, great. We'll define this, but um, essentially. <clears throat> You're getting cooked today, Kicks? No, it's not more than usual. It's fine. These guys are just jealous, you know, that I make a really cool game. And I have some guy that helps me as well. Oh, it's Sprite. Whoops. <clears throat> Your game is branching into a more and more original idea every day, Cakes. Chat is nice today because he's actually working. Yeah, I am. And on a day where I'm actually ill. Guys, you ready? Are you ready? This is the enemy. 10 seconds. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy goodness. Oh no, index out of bounds? What happened? What do you mean? Uh-oh. <laughs> ah, the attack frames of the sprite. I see. Um, wait a minute. I made a mistake here on this. Attack frames. Is... Uh, how do we do this? Dot count. And then on frame, I don't know, four or something. He was trying to use uh, this and then also, I think the pivot offset of 86. Let's try this to be 76. Tangerine is crushed to lemonade. You have 21 animation frames of the config. No, the, the frames don't matter how many frames I have. Can you ban Rico for lying? He said that you're actually working, but you did nothing at all in the past two hours, except adding someone else's work, I guess, and setting a few values for it. Sure, bro, I can ban you. That's okay. That's fine. There you go. See you in five minutes. <coughs> mm. Let's see. Ooh. We can still add more, wait. So minus 76. How about minus 66? Uh oh. He's trying to attack right now. Damn. And he's in the wrong location. Okay, wait. That's fine. Now, what we have to do here is essentially a sprite rotate canvas flip horizontally. There you go. So they have to look to the left. And sprite, oh no way, file open recent, fire golem, they have to look to the left because for me left is the base, and so a uh, yeah, actually uh, yeah, so we do this here, uh oh, I can't see anything. Shit. Is it right? Is it working? That's fine. Alright, let's take this now. Copy. Put this here. 
Wow. That's a big guy. There you go. Is this song new? What a banger. I don't know, look way cooler if the rocks moved independently of the dude. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So he's... Looks like he is... Also, I think this rock might be a bit... Uh, a bit too much. I think I would move this rock... Maybe somewhere else. But it's a big, big, big dude. So I would need to design a level where he's like somewhere in the middle here. And then he would run around in the middle. But then ultimately run uh, somewhere else. So he would like basically have to be spawned here. In a way. And he needs to be higher, of course. So why does Cakes, does a rock take poison damage but zero lighting damage? Guys, uh, I'm still developing it, okay? So that could change, bruv. But uh, I think 86 or 76 is actually good. Let's test this. Yeah, I think this is better. And he seems to try to attack me, but he can't. I wonder what's happening here. Let's fix this. Update enemy. Let's check what's going on here. Draw bar, blah, 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 blah. This is debug stuff, so I can initialize the enemy stats. Apply abilities, blah, blah, blah. Get cast delay. Animation state, use skill, cast time. Yeah. Then it goes through the abilities, time passed. That's long. Ability cooldown. Can we use the ability? Yeah. We get the target priority. We try to get a hero, which we do. And then we transition into use the skill. And I suppose this fucks up my cast time or something? No. Let's see. Enemy. We're still casting. We are facing. Next activation frame is four. Yeah. And then what frame are we currently in? We're currently in animation frame zero. Mm -hmm. Attack frames. Yeah. Activation count. We have one attack frame. What are, oh, I see. So this has to be greater or equals. That's why. It can't be... It has to be greater or equals. This is a one bug. What do you think about making an editor for your game engine like an IDE? Nah, why would I do that? Okay, let's see. Does this ever happen? It does happen. Okay. Cost multiplier, one. Activate ability. I think it works now. No, it doesn't. Why does it not activate? Why does this not happen? The ability cannot be activated. Why? Let's work this again. It activates the ability. Why can it not be activated? Current energy. Oh, because he doesn't have energy. And the ability costs... 50 energy to use. He's out of energy, yeah. So what I need to do here is very simple. And that works, you know, told you. Yeah. Mark, ma, golem. What we can do here is very simple. I just give this guy entity dot stats dot base stat energy uh, regeneration regen dot base. And how much? If I give him one energy per second, then every 50 seconds he can use the ability. But also, then I would need to update enemy. I should only switch to the animation... 
using skill if I can activate the ability. So essentially, can we use the ability if can ability be activated, I think. That would be the ability. And the activator is the enemy. And then uh, we transition and we activate the ability and then we ask that here again. That's fine. I might fix some stuff and some more animation later if possible if I get more time. But I'm a five, 9 to 5 job and I can find very little time to work. Oh wow, take a look at this guys. Big guy moving. Breath. He takes one damage. Ooh. Let's take a look at this guy. And give him some peace. Wait, actually, oh, it gives him peace. Oh, okay. Potato rock boss, good afternoon, sir. It's not a potato rock, you dumb all. He moves too fast for his size. Yeah, yeah, of course he moves too fast. But man, this could be a really cool boss, you know? Take a look at this. I know that his arrows are missing, guys. Don't even ask. Why aren't you making a special health bar for the boss? I'm thinking about doing that, actually, yeah. I'm thinking about putting it here. But then I have to think about, okay, where do I put these stats? Like the lives, the seeds, the enemies, the round counter, where do I put that? It does not fit at the moment. I appreciate the coding tips. Shut the fuck up, man. I really like the hit effect on him as well. Really good stuff. Could be above the status bar on the bottom. Yeah, I mean, it could be here. Essentially, yeah. You're right. I could make this like an overlay. Where the HP bar is here. And then it says Magma Golem. You're right. It could be on the bottom. Could it can put it vertical on the left. But I have already this on the left. Already have this here. Gotcha, bitch. You know. I mean, we can make the boss a bit slower. Also, I do not understand why the magma golem is not using the ability. Doesn't make any sense. Maybe it was because uh, it didn't store that. Let's try this again. Wait, what? Why did it not restart round one? Eh? Let's see. He should use the ability. Should he? Let's give him... Make him much slower. Yeah, I mean, gotcha, bitch. maybe give him a base movement speed that yeah, we'll have to see. Of, uh, like five and then a minus 60. Maybe that works. Can I do it like that? Nah, he's too slow. It also slows the animation. Yeah, that's how I programmed it. Thank you very much, uh, Ali, uh, Ali Reza uh, Rubik, for following. I appreciate it. Uh, we need to figure out why he doesn't activate. Can ability be activated? Why does it not work? Current energy is zero. He should have activator.stats.values on stat energy region. Huh? Goodness. 
How does he have current energy than zero? Hmm. That's odd. Hard. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Hmm. Update. Enemy. I don't know why. It must be this year. Cast time. Yeah. I'm not storing the enemy. Let's see. Float. Current enemy. Uh, N uh, G. Energy is enemy dot energy uh, dot stats dot energy percent current uh, energy percent and then we do enemy dot stats dot energy percent is energy current energy percent there we go keep track of the important data yeah, like, oh wait, but I keep this. Give me a second. Eh? <laughs> but, eh? Oh. I keep the stats here too. Eh? But I'm so confused. Why does it not increase in it enemy of type? Reset stats. Init stat values. Wait. It sets the values to the base values. That's fine. But I'm setting base values here. I don't understand. Oh, I do have one energy regeneration. So it should work. Maybe I'm not applying energy regeneration. Let's see. Update. Enemy. Maybe I just don't apply that. Draw HP bar. Apply. Yeah, I don't apply energy regeneration. Uh. I don't. Aha. There we go, guys. I forgot to do that. Oh. Bob. Yeah. Uh, hello there, Orange Couple. You're programming in 800 by 800 window. I am, yes, because I don't need to program in more. Uh, any enemies ideas which I could take, which I could make for you, Cakes? Enemy ideas? Sure, man, if you want, of course. Um, let's see. So the theme of the game starts with skeletons, right? This is what I have at the moment. Uh, this is going to be a boss. This is going to be a boss, and now your dude is going to be a boss too. I was thinking about a skeletal wolf. So like, I don't know. Um, it's difficult to do, but maybe I can. But like 3D, it's really difficult to do that 3D, you know. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like uh, like a skeletal wolf or something. Yeah, I don't know. Then uh, this is gonna be, you know. Something like this, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, like very tall head, tiny body, the glowing red eyes. You know, something like that. I don't know. No, yeah, I can give you a sketch if you want to. I guess. It's difficult to like do a skeleton here. Yeah? But yeah, something like that. 
essentially. I don't know. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a skeleton, you know. Something like this. I don't know. You want this sketch? Needs red. They need to read red eyes. Yeah, like this. These guys will be very fast enemies. Yeah. Then obviously there will be like differences between white, you know, white here. And the dark stuff. For example, the teeth might be white. Then I guess the rest will be kind of dark. So that we know, okay, oh, these are teeth here. Difficult to say, but yeah, something like that. Teeth must be yellow. I mean, we could try to do yellow teeth, yeah. Yeah, a really good idea. Yellow teeth work very well. Thank you. Something like this. You want this design or something? Something like Skeleton, Skeleton Wolf? This. And maybe, maybe, you know, maybe just make them smaller, uh, faster. Uh, like longer, so they, they kind of look more menacing, right? So we have more of these, I don't know what you call these, ribs, spare ribs, you know? And so when they are... They have like a bigger body here, and so the ribs kind of go grow out, something like this. You know, then they have like this thick, I don't know what this is supposed to be, but yeah, something like this. Make them more menacing, yeah. Maybe that even, you know, give them like a wolf-like. You see this, how they become more menacing with this? Man, I was such a fucking good artist, you know? Look at these guys. Wow. Cool wolf, yeah, right? Hmm? Add spikes to the back now? Oh, yeah, let's add yellow spikes to the back. True. Something like this. Add class, remove class, remove ears. You mean I should remove this? I don't know about that, bruv. Nah, I think I want to keep the ears. I don't know what you mean, but I, I think I want to keep it. Bald wolf, yeah. <laughs> and then I suppose there could be you know, some claws here. There you go. Bone Wolf. Yeah, I mean, we already have one now. This could be a fast enemy. Now teach it to sit. <laughs> I don't think you can. Read my idea, cakes. Two hours of insane progress, cakes. You did so many stuff, like adding a new sprite. Don't think you. Uh, it's time to kick back and do more of your witty reacts or some amazing gameplay. Inuka, would you rate my power plant message? Jokes aside, designing the game content based on random asset suggestion is not the best idea. More, more by idea. Ghosts and siphon mana from Tangies. Yeah, you can remove command search box from UI and the shit on the left. The command search box 
from UI and the shit on the left uh, Ghosts that ciphered energy from Talos. Yeah, Ghosts is something that I will add to the game as well. Ghosts will have the first mechanic that they will not be able to be hit by physical attacks. You need to have vision detection, like camo bloons. And then I guess they could also siphon energy as well, as like an attack. Looks good enough, yeah. So if you want this, tell me. Hold in my groin. But yeah. Uh, this is essentially how I want would want this. <clears throat> it might be a bit long, but uh, essentially also no bigger than uh, 48 by 32. So this has to fit in this box, which is difficult. So you might have to like make the wolf a bit smaller, you know. Because I do not want to have these ginormous sprites. My game is revolve. My game is designed around a height of 32. Send on this code. Okay. Something like this. You might have to change the size so you can animate them if you want to. Uh, let's do assets. Yeah. Um, enemy wolf. Enemy wolf. Skeleton. Yeah, let's add that and give that to you on Discord. Let me see. Uh, Where's that? Assets. Was it here? Enemy wolf skeleton. There you go. I'll put it. Give it to you here. Again, thank you very much, Holden McGroin. What the hell is going on with collective stuff? He's not being himself. How do you approach? He he wrote a bot. Uh, I think he doesn't have much time to... Uh, to uh, What is it called? He doesn't have much time to troll today. So he just wrote a bot that trolls for him. He's done this in the past, you know. It's not. It's not the first time. He wants an unban on Discord. No, he kept spamming the same message. No, I don't, I uh, know. It's his own fault. I told him to stop. He didn't. It's his own fault. All right. I think we made really good stuff. Now we need to uh, fix the enemy. Why is he not? Stop it. Why is this guy not using... Not activating the ability. Why is he not doing that? Your infectious enthusiasm has changed those cakes. Okay, bro. At least he still sticks around. Feels wow, man. Yeah, he. Oh, wow, he did. Lol. Watch this. It works. Ooh, wow. One shot. Of course, it's supposed to be a big, a uh, big thing. But let's see. Can I spam? This guy's gonna die before I can give him stuff, right? Shit. Fuck, he's gonna die. Let's see if they both die. Armor, block chance. Health. Fire resistance. Okay, this guy has big fire resistance. Oh, wow. 600 damage. The up-down wobble is too strong, Emo. Yeah, it is. It's a bit too strong. He's wobbling a bit too much and too slowly. What I need to do is... What? He still gets one shot? Oh, goodness. Um, yeah, that's, that's a bit odd. Um, yeah, even with fire resistance, that's crazy. And a bunch of health. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> crazy. Perfectly balanced. Oh, he blocked. He blocked an attack, guys. It's time.
Ja. He's doing one damage to him. <laughs> this guy has a thousand armor. That's crazy. This would be a great time to introduce microtransactions. Am I so out of touch? No. Remake. Just oh, he blocked again. Big tick support for nine years. Thank you, Remake. I really appreciate it, bro. Make an enemy that reflects damage. So there's multiple attacks that you could do with this guy, right? He can use his hands to like do a slice attack on you. Make an attack enemy that reflects damage. I think I did that already. Yeah, I read that already. Did I? Gotta head out for a bit. Hope you reach. Catch you later, cakes and chat. See you later, lol boy. My man. The damage number should pop at the point of uh, the collision hit. Not only would it speed spread the numbers more with multiple towers, it will also make it clearer who did how much damage. The damage number should pop at the point of the hit collision. Not... Yeah. I have to go to Zen. My man, see you later, bro. Thank you so much for joining. Five dollars to call a tactical nuke. No, it's already called Meteor, bro. Oh, I see. This is supposed to be a hand. I can see it now. Really cool. I have to go too. Too bad you did no progress today, but no, I did. I fixed the bug. You're wrong, bitch. Shut the fuck up. You're totally wrong. Also, I'm ill today, so shut the fuck up, bitch. You don't even know what you're talking about, man. Okay, we'll fix the magma golem later. Thank you so much, holding my groin, for this awesome sprite. Um, I'm gonna give you feedback now on this uh, on the enemy. Okay, number one. The enemy moves a bit too much up and down, makes it difficult to animate him. Uh, it would be cooler if he has a bit less animation frames, because it he takes up a lot of frames for just moving up and down. I think it's because of the flame animated. And uh, it would be cool if the hands and the like the hands move up and down independently of this guy. And if the rocks down there would follow like a circle like pattern where it makes it uh, where it's this animation here would show that he's floating based on the like if they yeah, if they rotate essentially if they rotate it, it sells the idea of him floating a lot more would make it slightly smaller. Yeah, we could make it slightly smaller, but that's fine. If I position the enemy in a way where he only moves halfway across the screen down, then this is not going to be an issue. I do want to have big enemies in the game later. So we'll have to see. So essentially what I could do here is I could give him this much space or maybe this much space on the bottom. And then he's always... Uh, then he's always visible. If he's down and then we have like a uh, tower defense going here somewhere and then down further down. It's like a volcano here. A volcano themed level that looks something like this. That's what I'm thinking of. So we have a volcano part here. Okay, so this is like a, a crater where there's a bunch of magma going on here, you know, orange as well. You know, and then some some dead rock as well. 
You know, just a, a level where the magma golem will be here, essentially, right? He will be here. And uh, the road in this level will be something like this. And go down here, essentially. And then my tangerines, they would be here. And they will fight him. Because ultimately at the end, he's gonna break out. Maybe here. He's gonna... His course will be this later on. And, but for the time being, he would do rounds in here. And then sometimes attack the tangerines. With aerial abilities that are very high range. And so you have to make sure that you attack him. While also defending against the waves, of course. That could be a boss level. Like, that's the first thing I see. And so then it doesn't matter how tall this guy is. Because he's always down here. Would be cool if you can make a volcano. An event for every map. And when the boss spawns. In it transforms the map in a volcano themed one. Could the flame be separated from the golem? Yeah, you could do that too. That can work. Yeah, we'll have to see, right? So there's always ways to make this things, these things work. Uh, we'll just have to test, right? Let's design an item really quickly, okay? I want an item to support this projectile path. And then also wind slash, in my opinion. Now that we are talking about this. This one right here. We create the projectile. I want this to be a dot. Uh, give me a second. The fork angle. Is supposed to be. We need the projectile count here. Mark this as A. And then go to. Uh, give me a second. Give me a second here. I have an ability that does that. Uh, yeah. Split count. Shield throw. There we go. Arrow spacing. Mm hmm. Are you kidding me? All right, relax. Relax! Okay. Sorry about that. There we go. Split count. Actually, proch count. Spacing. There you go, and then proch count. And then we do fork angle is spacing. Well, but what we do with this is when we have two projectiles, uh, this wind slash projectile that we get here will basically attack the front and the back. And I want to test if this is a cool idea or not. And then uh, we're going to design the eye patch to give us one more projectile what do you guys think one more projectile on the eye patch but that's very specific right i guess i'll just give it one more projectile for now it already has split count let's see So instead of split count, we do stat projectile count. We get one more. And then attack radius, I guess, an ability cost. What eye patch has to do with projectile? Nothing. It just looks cool. Okay. It doesn't have anything to do with projectiles. That's the point. So I'm building this right now. You know? So I don't know what makes sense or what doesn't. But for now, we're going to do 
Also, let's do projectiles return, of course. Get rid of this. Uh, we get shield ops, uh, cooldowns, and then wind slash. There you go. Okay, now he has wind slash. And he doesn't have the eye patch yet. Let's see. What the fuck? Interesting. Okay, and let's see what happens if I add another projectile now. Huh? What the fuck? Oh, wait, I see. Spawn projectiles. Projectile count, and then we do the projectile. There you go. Now it works. I've seen shooters use an eye patch for aiming, but I highly doubt that transfers transferred to bow and arrow. Yeah, I yeah, know. Cakes, are you going to play Avowed? No, I still have to finish Black Myth Wukong. Stuff like that. Let's see. Huh? Why is it not spawning too? That doesn't make any sense. One? <coughs> Wait a minute. I know what the issue is. Projectiles would be start projectile count uh, base value of one. There you go. Actual Wukong today, yeah. Does it need a frequency? No. Oops. It needed a proper base value of one projectile. Gotcha, bitch. Well, thank you very much for following. I appreciate it, bro. Uh, Barbaros. All right, let's give ourselves some stuff here. Let's see. Okay. Oh, wow. Damn. How's it only one shield? That's bad. Oh, maybe because... Shield ops. Uh, projectile count. Ah, target count, yeah. This is projectile count. Shield count, but that means the stat itself has to be the base here. So we have to put it here. The stat is however many shields we have. And then we add the entity's shields after that, because the then it would double dip otherwise. Mm hmm Cool. Let's see. Okay, so this is one. Now he should shoot two projectiles. Ah, what do you think? Should this be the spacing, or should I just uh, have it a little bit different? Where I slowly create a circle. Should it be both directions? Or we could do it like this as well. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think so too. There's two ways to do this though. What we could do here is instead of 2 pi is... Right, this spacing we could have pi. Oops, divided by 2. And then divide that by 2 again. Then this is what it would look like. Right, it generates the slash in front, and now he can hit a unit twice, essentially. So 
do this. What do you guys think? I guess we have to play test this. It's kind of curious. How long is your main CPP by now? Main CPP? It's not that long. 400 lines of code. Something like that. It's not that long. I don't know. I think it's fine. And the main function is like 300 lines of code. I think you meant game CPP. Oh, game CPP is 23,000 lines of code. 23,000 at the moment. Eh, how, oh, did they, did I lose? Nah, my bad, I meant the game CPP. So, guys, what do you think? One additional projectile on the eye patch and maybe less range as like a drawback. But that gives me one more shield, you know? What do you think? Eye patch, projectile count? I guess I have to test it, right? And then ability cost. I think it should give me ability cooldown instead of cost. It's a cool effect. So instead of ability cost, we do ability cooldown. Cooldowns minus 10%. Why an eye patch though? I didn't have a better idea for this, you know? It's a cool effect. I think it's better with one back, one front. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can do that, right? I'll do this for now. And then we, we just might change it later. We'll change it later. Maybe a small delay to the proje second projectile. No, I don't, I don't want to implement that right now, to be honest. Okay, so cooldowns, attack radius, and projectile count. I guess I'll do instead of minus three. We do attack radius dot increased minus 10%. It's actually impressive that it doesn't take multiple days to add anything in. Minus range is a bit strange. Well, because the eye patch. Because it blocks one of your eyes. So you see less. That's why, you know... I think it makes sense. It blocks your eye, but it gives you more projectiles. And then you can increase your range again with swords. You see this? I could go higher range to counteract that issue. I think we keep the eye patch for now. And that would be the first item. The issue I have, well, actually, I like the eye patch because the eye patch gives cooldown reduction uh, for other abilities that I might use. And so it is useful to have that here. And then attack radius, that's bad. But it also gives us projectiles, which obviously works very well together with the projectile path. More projectiles here is always really good. So, for example, shield throw will throw sh two shields, which is really strong. And then blade storm, one more projectile, it doesn't really do much. Like, uh, we'll figure out a better way to do blade storm. Um, but yeah. Don't take out eye patch, it's cool. I think it's cool too, yeah. Gotcha, we'll keep baby. it, yeah. And so now, once we have the eye patch, we need to figure out what to do with the next items. We have more items. And I want to support, obviously, the projectile path, right? In terms of weapons and items. So this guy, okay, eye patch, we have this. Then the next tier of items. We have a shield, we have a necklace, and we have a ring. <clears throat> I 
Does it make sense for melee characters to have a projectile path? Yes, because the idea is that you turn from melee to ranged, so you increase your range to hit enemies from further away. And then the melee path is a trade-off where you deal a lot more damage up close, but you miss range. So the projectile path is kind of damage from range, but not so much. Maybe more like AOE. And then the, the melee stuff is more like focused single target. Something like that. Something like that. So this guy could be a ranged dude and deal a lot of AOE, or he could be melee and then just focus strong enemies with armor penetration and a lot of very high dealing damage abilities. So you remember the golem from earlier. Maybe this guy could be countering the golem's armor by 50% and then doing uh, a lot of high physical damage attacks to him to bring him down. And now I have a counter for enemies with high armor and at the same time I have a path that allows me to do AOE damage a lot. And that goes hand in hand with the target priority where I can set this guy to strong and then he will focus the strong enemy. Why does every item have a debuff too? No, it doesn't. The ring shouldn't have a debuff. The ring doesn't have a debuff. It's just buffs. <coughs> ring that converts physical to magical damage. <coughs> no, I don't want to do that. That would be too overpowered, I think. But I need detection. I kind of need detection. So, against ghosts, for example. Oh, I have a, I have a cool idea. <gasps> Ooh, I have a cool idea. I just figured out a cool item for this guy. You guys will like this. Watch this. Maybe make it a bit bigger. Stole my idea? What? This is a lantern, you dumbass. What are you talking about? How did I steal your idea? That's not your idea. I said that? No, you didn't. No, you did not. You're lying. It's fine, though. It's totally okay. Could be a lantern. And that gives us the ability to see ghosts. And this lantern itself glows. Yeah, he did. A lantern? Oh, I didn't read the message though. Before I read the message. Stolen from Witcher? Actually true, it's from Witcher. Good artists borrow. True, true, you're right, Corey. Yeah, 100%. So this could be a lantern, guys. There you go. Then we put uh, the handle here, actually. We'll put it to the items for the defender, which is here. Uh oh, gotta be careful. Mm hmm. Mm 
I think it might be a bit big though. I think the lantern is too big. I have to make it smaller. This is a relaxing stream to follow. <laughs> check Discord submission. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it in a second. Uh, item. Slot. Wait. Um, item. Ring. There you go. Items general. Sprite item. A lantern. Hashtag free collector. Finish the wolf. Check out Discord. Bro, I'll check it in a second, okay? Let me add that really quickly. Okay, it is on 1072, 848. Now we have the item lantern in the game and we can... Item eye patch, defender. Item lantern. Item sicker. <laughs> Item lantern. Uh, string. Oh yeah, we need to add a string. String lantern. Oh. Oh my god. Sick. Cool. Put that here. Lantern. Go back. String lantern. Item rarity, I don't know. Uh, doesn't really matter. Uncommon. Item slot shield, yes. Ability cost. Okay, so this will be... Cooldowns, ability cost, ability speed. No bleed chance, but then it will be like uh, to do. Uh, add in ghost detection. Hey! Fuck you, man! There you go. Now we have item lant uh, shield, uh, lantern, and then we do um, item upgrades, weapon upgrades. Equipment upgrades, defender, and instead of the iron ring, we have the lantern here. There you go. I didn't unlock the lantern yet. Okay, so what I have to do here is start this again. I... There you go. Actually, I'm going to put this guy here so you guys can see this. Uh, yeah, the lantern is not shown yet because I didn't export this. It looks a bit odd. It will be too big. Huh? What the fuck? Huh? Hello? Wait a minute. I typed 172. I see. Thank you. Not a thousand. Ah, oh, thank you, man. I really appreciate it, bro. Thank you very much. This is what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ten people said that. That's so nice. Seems legit. I mean, obviously, I have to like make this smaller now, right? So essentially, take this. Make it a bit smaller, put it like here, then, you know, move this thing here somewhat, right, and then connect that in a way.
you know, maybe don't make that so large. What do you guys think? Huh? Isn't that great? Ah, it's still a little bit high. Hey! Huh? What's a program for debugging uh, a grid of textures? What's that programming? Uh, this one here? Oh, this is called a sprite. But I'm not debugging. I'm just uh, I'm just drawing in here. Why does the lantern wobble with the tangerine? But not the sword. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah, that's a good point. That is a good point. I don't know. Cool. Ha! We added in a new ability. <clears throat> Cakes, collector of nice compliments. Senior Trick, thank you very much for following. He 100% wrote debugging or developing. I see. Yeah, sorry guys. Does it only work on ghosts but also on camo balloons? Shut the fuck up, Inukai, okay, bro? I think we have a really good, good thing here. Okay, bruv, I think you're being way too negative. You know what? Uh, yeah. Bitch. Hold on my groin, how does it feel to be so much better than kicks? You banned. Five minutes. Wrong. Mm. By the way, what does the lantern give even? It gives ability, speed, cooldowns. Minus 20% and abilities cost less. It might be a bit too overpowered. Hmm. Also, I think I want to follow this. What do you guys think of this? Let's talk about items, right? Items, aka upgrades in the game. Okay, let's talk about this. We have in the game current tiers. We have tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, and tier 4. Bad handwriting. These different tiers, I'm working on it, okay, bro. I want to do, they all give stats, okay? So how about we have two? Oops. Tier 1 gives 2 stats. Then tier 3 gives... Tier 2 gives 3. Tier 3 gives 4. And tier 4 gives 5. What do you think? Cold resistance from Lantern? Uh, cold resistance, unfortunately, is too generic. Tier 4 gives a legendary slot. So many gems. Oh, yeah. I mean, tier 4 could be 4. And 1 legendary. So, and this 1 legend could be something like returning... Projectiles. Returning projectiles. That would be legendary because it changes gameplay. <clears throat> so four gotcha, stats bitch. and one legendary stat. This is what I'm thinking. So I think what we'll do tomorrow is design more items. But I, what I think I need now as well is... I need to design bleed 
abilities. So down here, I want to go for maximum damage. And... What do you mean tomorrow? No, I need to disconnect now. I need to disconnect now because we did make some uh, decent progress. And now I need to think about how to move next. And I think the smartest way to continue on with the game next would be to generate and design three more single target, very strong abilities that are focused around chunking down close targets. 